Hello. In this video, I want to talk to you about uh, how we can use containers to cache different parts of an UltraX module uh, in combination with YXDB files, which is an internal UltraX format. We can use those for, for running selected parts or, or getting modules to run from a certain point, which is often something we're asked for in UltraX. Um, in the example I've, I've got here, I'm downloading some data off the internet um, using the download tool and that's running quite quickly. If I just press play on this, it's gonna run for, there we go, just 2.7 seconds. So a nice quick example for us to use for demo purposes. Um, in reality, this might be a lot bigger. Um, so we might want to not download that off the internet every single time. Um, likewise, it might be a database connection where we don't want to be hitting the database continually as we're building up our iterative module. That download might take quite a long time as well for, for large volumes of data. The other reason I've used this in the past, and I actually used it the other day with this exact module, is I'm downloading off the internet. I was actually going on a train the other day and I needed to use this offline. So I needed to be able to kind of switch between the live and offline versions um, as I got on and off the train and went, went between my office and, and home. So let me show you how, how I might do that. This is the part that I want to turn into a cache. So I'm going to put this into a uh, tool container. I'm going to pick up the two tools and drop them into it. And then I'm going to just give this a name. I'm going to call it live link. I'm also going to then immediately drop an output data tool after that and I'm going to write this out somewhere. Now I could write it out to a local folder um, and and give it a name there. I'd need to remember to clear up that cache data once I stop running this module so what I like to do is use the temp directory. Now if I use percent temp percent in Ultrax that's going to create a different temp directory every time I run this module within the computer's temp directory. So I'm just going to use a couple of dots and a slash just to move one up from that so I'm not generating a different path each time and I'm living within the computer's temporary directory. Then I'm going to call this cached.yxdb. Okay, so that's going to write the data out to a temporary directory that's cached. Then I'm going to use my input data tool and another container and I'm going to go to exactly the same link percent temp percent slash dot dot slash cached dot yxdb. Now the yxdb format is an internal Ultrax format. It's very quick, very compressed. Um, it's actually what Ultrax is doing the work as you import data. It's converting that into the yxdb format. So by by pre-generating YXDB, you're actually saving Ultrax doing a little bit of work, which can speed up your modules quite considerably, particularly with, with large files. So I'm going to call this container my cached version, because this is now static. It's, it's looking at this version. There's nothing in this cached file at the minute. And the last point that I want to make is use the union tool. I'll tell you what, let's insert in connection. I'm going to insert my union just to insert that there so putting it after this version and I'm going to connect it up to both my inputs okay so I've not really altered the module much except I've now got two versions of the data coming in this one hasn't been created yet because this one's output into it so before I use the cache version I need to create the cache so I'm going to come down here and disable this container that's now disabled, that's not going to run. So I can generate my cache. So before I get on the train, I can do this at home, run that. That's going to run once and populate my cache YXDB. Now, once I get on the train, if I want to use that cache or, or if I'm downloading large amounts of data, I can do this once and then, then I can turn this off, disable that link, and enable my cached version. That cached version now is going to run through. 
it's, as you can see, even with a difference of two seconds, it's it, it's not it's running in 25% of the time. So really, really quick way of speeding up that module. You can imagine what a difference that would make if that was a live database link of a million records or something. So now I can keep running this, keep working on my module, building it up iteratively. If I ever want to go back to my live link, all I need to do is turn this down, disable it and enable my live link. then run that through and that's going to give me a live internet based update or database update of that data just need to make sure that only one of them is on at a time um, I hope that's useful um, I certainly find it useful as I'm, I'm working through data and sometimes I'll have several of these set up um, and different levels of, of container so that I can just turn off the whole start of the module and work through and, and work from a cache um, so yeah, really useful tip. I hope you find it useful.